So we're back on this job. Managed to move this big piece of shit out of my way. And cut up that. Obviously, same tree. Went down there. The excavator went down there. Not intentionally, I couldn't get it from between the tree. I couldn't get it up the hill with those roots and things like that. I couldn't get over or past. I had to take it down there to the bottom. Probably not going to give you that real aspect ratio being a GoPro. Because they're wide field of view and all that, but... See if I can show you. There. The excavator went over the top of there, see the marks? I drove the excavator down that hill to here and then back up and out again. What a effing nightmare. Oh, I didn't bring the tool down. It's alright. So, we walk your chainsaw. Let's talk about that. So this video is going to be about bars all heat stained the bars been pinched and it's carrying on like a champion um, really not happy with the quality of the bar it's cooking batteries still like normal but uh, I'm going to cut this stuff up the bit over there and yeah, just keep cutting Still spitting good sawdust. So it's not blunt or anything, but it gets well lubed. Milwaukee certainly won't scunge you with the amount of bar oil that comes out. That is for sure. something worth a mention I over temped the 12 amp hour um, didn't think that had happened to be honest with you it wasn't going too hard either I was doing this kind of size stuff up there not even constantly like I had to walk around and get to my next cut each time kind of thing gonna be sitting. Oh, it's freaking true. Some nasty spikes on it.
drag that out. Remember your chain break. I'm really good at forgetting it. Charged. Two bars. Two bars. When you don't use the 12, the 12 amp over temp today, I'm really pissy about that. It's like 17 degrees outside. It wasn't in the sun. It's in the shade up there. Oh, this tree. Come on down. Come down here so I can cut you up. Just to preempt the over temp, we're going to swap batteries before it over temps. Because I'm sick of waiting for them to come back to life after they have. by the sound of it, the uh, 5 amps have a lot less power. Bit of a harsh thing to do to your 5 amp batteries I guess. That being said, I'm going to have to go and buy some more of these high demand bastards. That's the reason I bought this saw is to do work with it. like some of these tool channels in America to have uh, workshop trophies. And that's exactly why you're hearing my exact thoughts on it. No. Super edited. Nice uh, things to say about it when there's not nice things to say about it kind of stuff. Anyway. tempted to go and buy the brushless AEG 18 volt skin which is only a 12 inch saw and it's only 260 or 80 bucks or something and I own AEG batteries Three six amps and a four amp. So the five point I can handle a bit of this kind of work. While I walk around just cutting stuff up everywhere. 
Not the most interesting video I know, but for someone who wants to really know. <clears throat> how these tools operate. You don't get a better view than real time video. This is an Australian gum tree. It's a lot harder than anything I've seen anyone else attack except for I was tool talk guy I was tool talk guys I believe I'd have cracked a bit of river gum Something else cool, no one's mentioned in any of the videos I've seen yet. The cooling fan comes out there. That's where the hot air comes out of your motor. Drew's drawn in this side, blows out that side. If they had made an enclosure that drew past the battery or something, damn that would have been cool. Saved a lot of this hassle. Get back to this one. Now we've got some power. Kind of push the leaves in the pile with the excavator just to get the bloody thing out. I was ready to go home once I uh, got the excavator stuck, I'm not gonna lie. Well, oh, slid down the hill. that one because that's the cool one
Over tamped. Oh, this is frustrating. By the way, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Just about to have two over temp batteries. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hover damped. Far out, this is annoying. You need like five batteries on rotation. All right. That's us calling this a day. If that comes out. You see my frustration, YouTube? It's bloody annoying. What have we done? 20 minutes, we've over attempt every battery we had down here. Not even 20 minutes, I had to walk down here first. So in fairness to that one, I'd started using that. Earlier, but I had a bite to eat. Did a few trips with the excavator, etc. before we called that one a day. Like they're legit hot, they're like 50 degrees. Look at some of the property here that I've got to do work on. Isn't it phenomenal? Gotta clear all this scrub and stuff yet. Don't know how I'm gonna do it all. Take all this gear up the top and got a couple of pieces up the top we can cut up. And we're gonna call it a day. I hope you don't think I'm picking on it. But over temping all the time. Driving a bloke insane. We got a bit done today though. Oh, we'll cut that up. Hopefully they're cool by the time we finish playing down here. These flat ones. Flat ones. Hot ones. 12 amps flat. 5 amp flat. And we've got one more nine. In it though. Get the bar oil. Four forty two. She's almost quitting time. A bit liberal with its bar oil, but I use this nice thick stuff. This golf, it's golf western. It's not what's on the bottle, but chains and bars are. Well, it's already got another chain on it. Um, chains and bars are expensive, so you're better off looking after them. Oop. Hopefully you guys kind of like these sorts of videos where I'm just real welding it. A walkie knife, good old one. You nearly needed to pop that out though. Go and watch AVE. He did an awesome comparison between this and the DeWalt. Apparently, this oh, the bar's cooled down. It's not getting hot anymore. Um, yeah, he did an awesome comparison between this and that stupid flex vault DeWalt stuff, which is kind of interesting. I 
don't know what that battery's rooted. Gotta give the owner of that battery a new one. Can't handle load for some reason, it freaks out. It's fine on lights and torches and grinders. Give it a chainsaw. A whip snipper. Look at those fucking ants. Nope. That's what nailed me before. Nope. Oh, what can we do with this? It's closing up. Attempt. <laughs> it's amazing what AN650s can put out. They just pack them in too small of a package. I need help, Milwaukee. Man's got to buy new batteries. That's really upsetting. Alright, let's go up the top. And uh, let's go over the tent pile. We go up the top. Nasty freaking hands. Cut up what I have dragged up the top. Pack the machine up. I'm going at it. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Capote has been performing nicely on a semi-related side note. She's been doing her thing. It'll be a bit of GoPro footage. Um, yeah, it's been doing its thing. Nice and reliable, what hours have we got on it now? 2033 We put 20 of them on, them on it at this place so She's not afraid to do some work Thanks for watching guys Catch us on the next video